Okay then, that's better. So guys, here it is. My minivan so far, as it stands. So, God, I slept sort of this way today, last night. And this is like bed configuration number five. I can't remember. I've changed the bed so many times. If you look at a previous video, you'll you'll see it. And but I think I mentioned it earlier. I am so happy about that ceiling. It just makes it look so much better. It just ties everything together. Um, you know, when I look at my van, there's a high propensity for it to be very cluttered. Okay, and I just need to sort of move this forward. There we go. And you know, by moving it forward, I gain a lot of space. Just over here on this side here, you know, on this side, there's a lot of space that I gain that way. So that's always good. Let's close this a bit here. Do a bit of work here. There we go. Okay, so um, where do I start? The bed system worked well for me for a bit, <clears throat> but now I think uh, I'm, I'm thinking of just changing it up a bit more. I think this will be bed design number five or number four. I really don't know. But one thing for sure when it comes to this particular build, and, like, and I think like any other build, is over time you begin to realize what works for you and what doesn't work for you based on you know how you use it for example right now for me um it, you know works it works good enough but to me one of the issues i've had in you know is the tiny tiny space we have in this minivan and it's a 2008 dodge crank caravan and it's pretty much 32 square feet 32 square feet 32 square feet so, okay, fine. Now that we've got that squared away, 32 square feet. Um, the next thing is, it's also not very tall. For example, when I wear this hat, um, this, I, I forget what kind of hat this is called. You know, it's not a typical hat. You know, the, the, this, the top part here is kind of like, it's all straight. And I've, and I've had this hat for a long time. And it was, it was given, it was a gift. Why am I talking about my hat? Oh yes, okay, I'll tell you why I'm talking about my hat. It's because, see, when I wear this hat, you notice it's like, you know, it just hits it right there. Take off my hat, and it's okay. But at the same time, it's not very tall, right? I'm, and I'm sitting on the bed right now, this the bed that I have. You know, it, it's comfortable, and I could, you know, if I, I can stretch out pretty good, but it's really close. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're maybe thinking, you know, well, maybe because you, sh you shouldn't have put that ceiling facade. Actually... It really didn't matter that much because the ceiling facade is like two millimeters. So it's really, really thin. And you know, for the way it turned out, I would do it again. I, I love it. it. It just creates that vibe and just, it just feels good being in here. And so, and so the, the feel good vibe that I get from it and installing it and maybe losing two millimeters, I'm okay with that. So what am I going to do? Like, look at it. I can like do reverse break dancing, you know, like do a head spin. See? Oops. Ouch. Okay, um, so it's not very tall, and we can certainly agree on that. It's not. It's not very tall. It's not very very high. It's definitely not a high roof. It's a minivan. It's a 2008 Dodge Crank Caravan, and it's tiny, 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 tiny. Okay, again, 32 square feet. I know what you're thinking, James. Why with all? Well, you know why? Why are you just babbling on about 32 square feet and and break dancing upside down? And that would be a good question. Why am I babbling about it? I think I'm just trying to impress upon you. Look, I've thought about this a lot. And that's one thing about this particular van build is a lot of the stuff that I've done here is because it's something that I needed or I really, really wanted. And I had the capability to actually change it or carry out the change in the van. And so once again, I'm going to be changing up the van. In this case here, I'm going to be changing up the bed. I am going to be changing it to account for one, the space, okay? Secondly, the height or the height. It's height, right? Yeah, the height. And I think I'm also going to be changing it so that I can move it around. Yeah, move it around. You know, there's just light in front of me. Anyway, 
What? A, <laughs> that's bobbling. That's that's bo stop bobbling me, bothering me. Uh, no. It's kind of fun. Doesn't work the same. So one of the things that I notice when I'm living in my minivan for some time is I'm constantly moving things around. And one of the criteria that I want as well, one of the items I want to include in this van build is the ability to have some storage, smart storage, because I'd like to have a place for everything as, as much as possible. That way I'm not moving things around. But I think because the, the space is so tiny, 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 okay, it's inevitable. You're going to be moving stuff around. I took off my hat. Anyway, granted that this particular, like, setup right now, which I sort of just started doing when I was up in Algonquin, Algonquin Park, there's some videos about that, by the way. And if I'm smart, and if I'm like really on the ball, I should be, I should be putting a link up there somewhere, or maybe up there somewhere, okay? It might even be in the description. But um, yeah, so this configuration actually worked pretty good for me. It does block off me from like easily going, you know, from the front to the back, but it's not a big deal. It really isn't. Um, it's, it's really quite easy. I guess one of the benefits of having a small minivan is my flexibility has improved to an, a degree that I never knew would. Like I'm pretty much this Mr. Minivan Yoga Master. I mean, I've become a contortionist, right? I've been able to, to like, you know, sit down, which I was never able to do. Because I don't know if you guys recall, I was like 300 plus pounds. And now I can actually sit cross-legged. And you know what? That's a big deal for me. I really should call this channel the diversion channel because I'm finding every time I do these YouTube videos, I'm like, I'm thinking of all kinds of things, you know, 1,000 miles per hour. And, you know, I've only been awake for about 35, 40 minutes. I'm just having my coffee right now. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm constantly moving things around. So I like some storage. And what I'm going to do is I am going to today plan out a bed system that will address those issues and if it's the kind of thing where I constantly have to keep planning and keep doing this I'm okay with that I'm not in a particular schedule I I have access to a again matches my minivan a tiny 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 uh, workshop I don't know how, how long I'll have access to it because um, it's not really my space per se right but um anyway it's a long story but it, it's good i have access to it so it's, it's perpetual and it'll work out because it always does and it ultimately um it always works out in the end i think that's one thing oh i can feel the diversion coming so you know uh, i was gonna say it always works out in the end and if it doesn't work out guess what then it's not the end right so it'll be good okay so the moment you've all been waiting for i'm going to start designing this and we'll see how it's going to work out and i appreciate you making it this far okay i'll see you soon i think the first part whenever i do this stuff is to get a sense of the space and right now this is the space and I'm not going to mention how little space it is, even though it's 32 square feet. Um, yeah, I mean, and there's not a whole lot of space. And see this little area here? This is pretty much my my living room. Uh, basically, my you know, the only thing that fits there really are my, my legs and my feet. That camera work I did is probably irritating. But um, anyway, I just want to give, give you guys an idea of what it, kind of what it looks like. Got a better idea. You know what I'm going to do? Ouch. Ah, there. I'm going to get out of the van. So you can sort of see what it looks like. So you go in here. You've got, um, I got my boots there. Uh, you've got my, my furry pillows, my cushions. And you've got the space there. And, and you know, it, it looks spacious with this camera. Okay, because I'm using a wide-angle lens. But 
it's not that spacious. You know, it's excellent for one person. I think a minivan is really comfortable for one, you know, and it's, it can get really cozy for two. Um, anything more than that, like I'm talking about adults, anything more than that, I think, um, I think you would need more space. It really depends. And you know what else? It also depends how much stuff you have. If you have a lot of stuff, like for example, I think I carry a lot of stuff and I've stuffed a lot in this minivan, but I've slowly been just getting rid of stuff as much as possible. You know, my goal is uh, within another few months, I'm just going to be carrying the, the essentials, the things that, you know, do it for me. Okay, now, now, now back to our show. Uh, so here's the space and here's the bed. It's got the cushion on it. It's this thing. It's, it's basically a coffee table. And what I want to be able to do is have this extend right out up to this part. And I might have to adjust that as well. So I've got lots of planning to do. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to plan it out. And besides, um, it looks like it's going to rain today. So it's probably a good day to plan. Uh, so I'll do that. And um, I'll start building out the, the bed system on the next sunny day because I just felt a raindrop. And you know, I would build in the garage, but there's just, there's just no space. I just have enough space to do something really small. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be my lunch. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try to explain what I did here. Unfortunately, I didn't get the, you know, when I was cutting this thing, I basically, this is one piece. It's approximately uh, two feet by approximately uh, about 31 inches. Okay. And all I did was, this was like, like a coffee table. And what I did was I just took this and I just sliced it right across, really cold and brutal like that. And then I added these things here. And what this is going to do is it's going to buy me some space in my van. So right now, as one piece, it's literally, I mean, it's constraining the amount of space. And you saw it earlier as well. So what it does now, it does this. It now folds like this. Okay? So now, instead of taking up two feet, I'll fix that later. Cardboard two feet, it's taking up half of that, approximately 12 inches. The other thing I did as well was, and I didn't, again, I didn't do a video of this, but pretty straightforward. I got these, sort of like these hinges, and they do this, okay? That's what, I, that's what they look like. Hopefully you can see this in the camera. And I attached it to this thing here, to, to the legs. So I had to make, add these extra legs to give some stability but I found when I sat down, I was like pinning them, right? So I attached this and so I can do this now. And now I have a seat, okay? With, now these things, I'm not sure what to do with these ones here. I might do the same thing, but there, legs automatically. And what I could also do is I could detach it from here and I would have like a table, right? Uh, again, not exactly sure how I'm gonna approach that, but that's how they work. And there's the modified bed right now, which is originally coffee table. All this stuff, all this wood is all reclaimed stuff. Uh, this is from a warehouse. This is from like scrap wood. Um, you notice there, there, I mean, look at that. Like you've got some really bad spots there. But, you know, for now, um, it's really helped me out a lot in terms of building this stuff. And not getting too stressed out that I'm working with really expensive materials. Uh, granted now I think I have enough confidence that I can start working with expensive materials I've got it about over a little over a year in uh, Working with this stuff and I have a better sense of how this stuff actually works So now at this point this becomes a seat. I just put some padding here and uh, There's the modified bed and so I get the same thing that I had before 
except now I'm getting much more room in the van. Now, the only thing is that it's really high up that, I mean, you know, I'm hitting my head. So what I want to do is I actually want to do something with this. Again, I'm not sure exactly what, but I'm thinking of just cutting it down and figuring out a way so that I could elevate it when I have to, when I'm ready, when I'm ready to, to go to bed. But for now, uh, uh, I tested about probably 10 inches is going to be a good height for me to be sitting on this thing. But uh, I'll look into that a bit more. So that's where I'm. That's where I am right now, and I'll see if I can do a better video than what I have here, which I didn't show you how I actually did this stuff. But it's pretty straightforward, right? You cut the pieces of wood, you screw this in, and you're good to go. And it's these uh, adjustables. And it's definitely going to be raining, so I better do this quick. And here's our van. And I'm going to be placing it right here. I mean, taking out that bed unit. Look at all this space. It's like a little mansion in here, right? But that's not going to happen because I really need that stuff. I need a place to sleep on, right? So I'm going to place it right there. Um, I don't know what to do with this thing, but I think I probably really don't even need it. Just because um, I have space elsewhere. I'll figure something out, but I'm going to try to fit the, um, the modified bed in there. And there it is. There's only one little thing. I didn't even check if it's gonna... No, it'll fit, it'll fit. That's for sure, what am I talking about? It'll definitely fit. And there we go. I just threw it in there and bam, shazam, it fits. And I've got all this room from here to over here. And it's, you know, it's half the size, right? Because now, because it's pretty much folded in half. And you know, I think I know what to do with this. I'm definitely going to be doing the same thing so that it's, it's down because I can see myself sort of colliding through that, you know, because of the tiny, tiny, tiny space of this 32 square foot van. Wow, let's see what it looks like. Lights on. Yay, lights. Wow, what a mess. Okay, let me work on this. Oh boy. There it is. Check the camera angle. Okay, looks like it looks works pretty good. So here, remember this? We're gonna do the same thing with things with the ones at the back. And unfortunately I think it's been glued on. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work. Just because I think it's guys I think it's been glued on I can sort of see the glue and it would be something that I think I would have done because I thought maybe I'm not gonna change it but, but here we go let's see if we can take this off that's a long screw look at that that's a long screw got some other filming going here okay one second so we have this and see if this Come out. Well, looks like it came out. Not sure why this screw was in there because it clearly doesn't belong in there. It's it's just way too short. So that must have been a mistake. Because this screw is right here. Yeah, that's a right screw. Yeah, that's a long one. Yeah. 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 It was definitely it was definitely glued on. See if I can gently maybe with, with a screw from the top. I don't even know. I don't even know. Can I just gently rock it out? Creation is messy. Let's see if it's screwed. Yeah, it was screwed from the top. Right here, I could see it. Let's see here. There we go. Take that out. Perfect. That's one out. And we're going to use this. Same thing, right? 
same deal. I'm going to use this thing here to attach like this. So I'm going to have it, see right now it does this kind of thing, right? It's going to have to do this kind of thing. Hmm, how will that work? We're going to have to turn it around. All right, we'll see. We'll figure it out. For now, it's, it, it, you can't go this way because it's just, it's not going to work. It's going to have to go this way. And will I have enough room to actually have the other one go this way as well? Oh gosh, you know what? This could be a problem. Let's take a look. And you can see here that it actually does fit. So if we were to add this to it, and it says, you know, this kind of thing here, okay? Where it goes down like this, it'll actually fit, and we're not going to be colliding into one another. So I'll do that. I'll do one side, and then you'll be able to see how I did one side, and then the rest are pretty, it's pretty much the same. Okay guys, here it is. So, we took this, pretty much this coffee table that I made from scrap wood and we created it into a seat, half the size. So we have this. So for the moment we want to turn it to a table, we just do this kind of thing. And it goes down to these sort of these shelf hinges, whatever. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. and. If you've watched any of my videos, I'm notorious for not knowing what some of this stuff is called. But in this case here, I will be so diligent. I'll be very diligent in getting you the link. Uh, I picked it up from Amazon. Um, anyway, so here's how it goes. So, uh, it, whoops. I'm trying something new here, by the way. Oh, like this. Opens up. Let's say I'm in the van. And bam, I've got myself little table pretty cool huh isn't that cool I, I think it's cool I think it's I mean it's a little hackish but you know I'm learning my way through as I build this van I'm making I'm taking notes and I'm understanding the relationships between ergonomics and how I'm doing this stuff for example I hate to hit my shin on any one of these things the other thing I want to do is I need to sand this down because it's a bit rough I noticed it got caught in the curtains, right? So, little things like that. But aside from that, I think this is going to work. This, guys, it literally just started raining, and I just literally just finished. And it fits really well. Okay, I'm going to wrap up the video. But look, 50% less space that this is taking up, and it's going to be a seat. And a bed at the same time. So I'm pretty happy with it. And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build. As I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist.